Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dizzy over here and I'm uh, making this quick vlog just to introduce to you guys the new shoes for the 2024 spring summer break. Each of these designs uh, are something that really means something to me and have a story behind it. But today I'm just going to talk about the shoes. So first up, I'm going to start with this one, the Paris 2024 Two Steps. Um, I made this design based off the fact that breaking is going to the Olympics. Uh, that's a big deal to me. A lot of people who know me know that I've been pushing this from back in the day, all the way from 2010. Uh, before 2010, which is the reason why I moved to Korea, because breaking exploded in Korea, and I was wondering why can't b-boys make a living off breaking? You know, we were all struggling so hard back then. And uh, by moving to Korea, I learned a lot about the business and I realized that breaking needs to rise and become more respected in terms of competitions, in terms of, you know, like Olympics and sports. If we went this direction, um, we're going to get a lot more respect from the world, uh, from government, sponsors, um, corporations. And lo and behold, it has gone that direction. And through R16, we were one of the first to really push this kind of Olympic kind of mindset with a criteria-based judging system. And that was part of my work to really build this path. I don't want to take all the credit whatsoever. And I believe that breaking may have gone this direction in the first place, but I wanted to be one of the people to help put, steer it in that direction. And so even though I'm not actually fully involved with anything that's going on at the Olympics, I still support it 100% because I've seen how much it's really been helping the entire community. There's a lot of uh, B-boys and B-girls that have been uh, approached by corporations in different countries around the world. And it's awesome, right, to see that this can actually happen for breaking. And I've seen how much governments and sponsors and investors have come into breaking now because of it. And so as a net whole, it's been really awesome. And this is the reason why I wanted to create a shoot to commemorate breaking going to the Olympics. You know what I mean? Because it's a win for the entire culture, for the entire, you know, for all of us. Now, yes, there are some things that people are worried about, myself included. And this is the reason why instead of us complain and try to block things, it's better for us to work towards building a better break in future where more of the power is in our hands, right? So with that said, I created this called the, the Paris 2024 Two Steps. Paris is in France. The colorway is inspired from the French flag, right? You got the blue, the red, and the white. The blue is suede, right, for durability, but the white Napa arrows on top are luxury materials. And they're actually not just more durable, but they're easier to clean when you get them dirty. But I wanted to keep the price of the shoe lower, so on top we have thick, red, durable canvas materials. Okay, so canvas is the cheapest, yet the most durable material, which is why you see a lot of canvas shoes. We also have the white cap, rubber toe cap, and these shoes come in pro soles and also street soles. Actually, all of the shoes will come, you'll have the ability to choose between street soles and pro soles. And another thing that I like about this is that I put the gold label uh, with gold print to signify, you know, going for the gold for the Olympics, right? So yeah, I'm really happy how this shoe came out. And uh, now it's time to move on to the next shoe. The next shoe I have to show is this one. Now this one is a funky colorway, right? It's green, yellow, and it has pink. Now, this is just a sample, so the, the real product is gonna have the logos on the back, of course. Um, this one is actually in street, but we also have the Pro over here. And uh, yeah, this shoe was actually designed uh, by a crew called Libra and Sakai, which is why we have this. Now, Libra and Sakai has a big place in my heart because the crew started from the break in sneaker club where we were all meeting online and then they eventually branched out and are doing their own thing. Half the crew are supporters of Dizzy Threads, which is awesome. And I, and I support this crew because they're a crew from the Philippines, but they want to change the way, the mentality of breaking in the Philippines. To talk about the shoe, um, it's made by, it was designed by one of the, the members is Mosaic and you know, I've known him for a long time and I've seen him really come up and he really pushed it hard to get to where he is and he actually made it onto the national training pool. So he's been traveling and battling and just getting out there, which it's awesome to see his journey. He developed this shoe based off his preference for the two steps. Um, he's, this one has uh, street soles, but like I said, we have the pro soles. 
And uh, the colorway is inspired from the Jeep. If you haven't seen a jeepney, a jeepney is one of those, is the old public transportation in the Philippines that's iconic. But the jeepneys are going to be phased out next year. They'll no longer be used. So this is kind of like a shoe that commemorates that, right? Because they're really super colorful. They use a lot of green, yellow, and pink to keep it vibrant. Now, this shoe has over here um, felt materials for easier sliding on the sides. The reason why he wanted to go bright, why we wanted to go bright is because you when you're battling up on stage, you really want shoes that are gonna stand out, that make your footwork look look better, your, make your power moves look crazier, right? And so the shoes you wear really do help a lot. And let me move on to the next one. The next one is what we call the black tie number ones. Now this shoe, man, I love this shoe. I love the way it came out. Now this is made out of Napa leather. If you don't know what Napa leather is, Napa leather is the highest quality leather. It's used in Ferraris and you know luxury cars because of the material. It's soft, it's breathable, but it's very durable and it's flexible. And it's just like the best leather out there, right? So it's the price point of this shoe should be a lot hard, higher. But what I've used for here is a synthetic patent leather for this part, right? So the base of the shoe is actually Napa leather, but the outside is nice and clean, which keeps the price point low because this would have been super expensive if that was real genuine patent leather was used on the top. So it'd be a lot more expensive. So the idea behind the black tie number ones is a shoe that's more like a dress shoe. So the idea behind the black tie number ones is that I wanted to make a break shoe that is comfortable for dancing at weddings, at like black tie events. Yes, I'm so serious because a lot of times we want to wear sneakers and stuff like that, but at the same time, you kind of want to look dressy. So this is the kind of shoe that looks dressy that you can still get down. It's still comfortable because if anyone has worn Dizzy Threads before, they'll know that it's a comfortable shoe. Now this one is in street soles, but of course it comes in pro soles as well. And the reason why I wanted to use a brown, a lighter color sole is because if it's all black, you're breaking in an all black dress shoe. No one's gonna see your feet when you're dancing. So I want to make a little bit lighter, but keep it classy and not use white. Now the last one that I wanted to introduce you to is this one. And I love the way this one came out as well. This is the most premium shoe actually because the entire thing is made out of Napa leather, right? Even from the red arrows to the toe cap is actually made out of Napa leather as well. Now this one is in pro sole, but once again, there's, we get them in street soles. I've already worn mine, the one in street soles. Now the thing about this shoe, it's called the AOG number ones. And this is actually inspired from my faith. You know, I'm like a lot of people do know, I, I put it out there that, uh, you know, I'm a believer, uh, I'm a Christian and I follow Jesus. At one point in my life, when I was 20, 23 years old, I, I hit the rock bottom and life was over. I lost everything and God came and saved me. And ever since then, I've been following him. And so I wanted to make a shoe that is true to my relationship with him, you know, and, uh, and so I wanted to make it the best possible qualities. Armor of God was a brand that I first made back in the days. It was a Christian's premium streetwear brand. And I had so much fun just learning how to make clothes and putting things out there. And, uh, you know, I had to go on hiatus after I moved to Taiwan. Since making shoes, I decided to make an Armor of God shoe. Right, so this one actually has the label, the Armor of God label on the front, right? It also has a couple of other design features, like the, like the cross is strategically placed inside of the red arrows, right? To symbolize the blood of Jesus spreading around the world. And it also has this little mark over here, which symbolizes the wound of Jesus' feet that he suffered when he was on the cross. Yeah, this shoe also comes in pro soles and street soles and I love the way it came out. I just, I wanted to make shoes that I can feel good rocking everywhere and it's very bold in the faith that people can look at and say, what the heck are those? So anyways guys, that's the four shoes that came out for the 2024 spring summer breakout. I just want to thank everybody back then who supported this. You know, it really helped me get through COVID-19 and just put all my, my stress and my creative energy into creating shoes, which I, I, I really love to do. Now we are gearing up to sell in a different way. Instead of pre-orders, because a lot of people don't want to pre-order things, we want to just make a massive order and ship it to Taiwan and make it readily available and make it cheaper. 
right? So that's the next move that we're going to be making. So this may be my last pre-sale. Now, if you know these shoes really sell a lot, really well, better than expected, then maybe I'll continue. But from what I gather, this may be the last, you know, pre-sale for crazy new shoes. And instead, I'm going to be focused on on the ones that we already made. If you can see along on the side over here, we made a lot of different, a lot of shoes already and focusing on fixing the old ones and then doing bigger quantity orders and having them available. So anyways, guys, thank you so much, everybody, for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.